Get it off my Get it off my ankle or my wrist. Well, I'm non-binary, so. Okay. Don't. You're being Come a here. white man and Come don't. Here. Some trans people love getting on people's nerves and playing the victim card afterwards. But what happens when unhinged individuals go up against conservative cops? If you do that, you get it. You know what I'm This is not. This is a man. Being so mean to a trans girl, I can't believe you as a fucking woman are not going to validate my woman. These are several cases where deranged trans people meet conservative cops. Starting off with the case of Jenny DeLeon, who soon found out the harsh side of law enforcement in her routine encounter with Deputy Sean Bush that soon escalated into an altercation that didn't end well. Okay, so, you don't want to talk to you. No, 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 hold up, hold up. You're my property. Get on the ground. Don't touch me, okay? Get on the ground. I'm not, I'm going to put up that On November the 27th, 2020, Florida Deputy Sean Bush responded to a report of a domestic dispute in town and country, a suburb of Tampa. Upon arrival, he found Jenny DeLeon and several others standing outside the residence. Although the initial interaction was friendly, it quickly escalated when Jenny began to push her boundaries. Happy Thanksgiving. The COVID thing. The COVID, you know the COVID? You have gloves. Okay, what's going on? Can you, can you push that? What's up, man? You doing all right? Yeah! Okay, why is, it, why the is your family calling? What, what's the problem? I guess they called. Oh, who called? I don't know. Okay, and then the, name, the uh, name, I had to tell you who you called. Who called? Who called? Can you more? Oh, you called? You called? You called in the ground? Can you say I'm on? What's up? Excuse me, sir. Hold up. You can't go because it don't say walk on or say nothing. Hold up. What's Wait a up? minute. Wait out here, okay? Thank you. Okay, so, they don't want to talk to you. Who so, called? Nobody called. Nobody Did called me. Call? No, uh, Angelica, okay. Um, what's the number? You go check your number. Give me a favor, have a seat over here. Why? Keep hey, is this my house? Six though? feet, okay. Okay, six go feet. go to your house. You you, you call away this is sweet of mine. Six feet, please. Okay, okay. so go ahead. You're you, my you're property. You're obviously very you my property. No, 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 hold up, up, hold up. You're my property. I can do whatever I know on my property. Right, so go up to your car. Find out who called from this house. Then you come back and give me six feet. You call that? Go do your job. Thank you. Deputy Sean, who appeared to be quite pissed at her mannerisms, got slightly flustered by Jenny's reaction and attitude towards the investigation. Instead of calmly diffusing the situation, it descended into chaos in an instant. Go ahead, hey, Mr. Thing, you call over there. There's a sheriff's office over there. His brother's sheriff's office over there. Hold up, you can't take the car. You're not saying about coronavirus. Don't touch me. Get it up, you <laughs> Get on the ground. Don't touch me, okay? Get on the ground. If you don't call on it, I touch my car. Touch my car like that. Hotel 30, have the units respond and come 1018. Stay on the ground. No. Stay on the ground. Stay on the ground. Don't resist. Oh, I'm not resisting. Oh. Oh, oh, I'm not resisting. After subduing Jenny, the deputy should have shown restraint, but his next action was even more extreme. Taser, taser, taser. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull up that guy. Stay on your back. I'm gonna pull up that guy. Stay on your back. back. I'm gonna pull up that guy. Hands behind your back. I'm gonna pull up that guy. Hands behind your back. I'm gonna Put your hands behind your back. I'm gonna pull up that guy. Put your hands behind your back. You're gonna get tased again. Hands behind your back. I'm gonna pull up that Hands behind your back. Okay, put your hands behind your back. We no. told you like three times. No, you coming up to my house, nobody called you though. Put your hands behind your nobody back. Nobody called you. Nobody called put you. Put your other hand behind your back. Nobody called you. Put your hand behind your nobody back. Nobody called you. <laughs> nobody called you though. Ain't nobody called you. More deputies arrived and handcuffed to Leon's legs and wrists together. 
after the incident, De Leon was charged with battery, battery on a law enforcement officer, depriving an officer of means of protection or communication, and resisting an officer with force. After an internal investigation over a complaint of using excessive force, Deputy Bush received a letter of reprimand and mandatory training. Will you shut up for a minute? Maybe if you listen, you'll know what's going on. You steal stuff from there. I, I mean, we're going to go back over. We'll watch the video. I'm going to charge you with obstructing and all this other stuff because you're just delayed, del delaying the end. Oh, no, I got to. I got to. On March 19th, 2024, at around 9.54 a.m., the Alliance Police Department responded to a shoplifting report at 2700 W State Street where asset protection had notified dispatch that the suspect had hidden items and left the store parking lot in a red Chevy Avalanche. Soon enough, the officer saw the suspect's vehicle leaving Walmart's parking lot and proceeded to tail it. At the point of apprehending her, the officers had no idea that they would be dealing with a crazy trans woman who was entitled enough to believe she could get away with anything. I got the vehicle with the car in front of me. I'll get out of the way. <laughs> Stop. Forty four headquarters, King Charles Lincoln five two four four. King Charles Lincoln five two four four. We're going to be in the parking lot with Bob Evans if you want to give me the return on the 28th. After stopping the vehicle, the officer approached and read the Miranda rights to Christopher C. Cottrell, who was seated in the front passenger seat, and the driver, Cassie R. Kuligowski. The officer explained the reason for the stop and began questioning them, but they weren't too cooperative with the investigation, further intensifying an otherwise calm situation. Hello, go ahead, shut the vehicle off, hand me the keys. Yeah, because I told you to. Hi, I'm not going to tell you again, okay? Listen, you both have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the car. Will you shut up for a minute? Maybe if you listen, you'll know what's going on. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, one of these court law attorney questions. Do you understand your rights? Do you understand your rights? Do you understand your rights? Okay. Okay. Where'd you guys just come from? The store. Okay. Did you go in the store? No. You never went in the store? No. Did you go in the store? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Okay, so obviously you know why I stopped you. Huh? Okay, did you steal anything there? You didn't steal anything there. So the laws prevention's there, they got you on camera and stuff like that, and you didn't make anything. Go ahead and hand me your ID. Huh? And now that you both have been advised your rights, if you lie to me from this point on, it'll be a falsification charge on top of the theft. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. 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 Did you? Okay. Go ahead and... Uh, as soon as I get another car here, we'll search you guys and stuff like that. So. But go ahead and give me your ID. Have a valid ID? Do you have a driver's license? Okay, you know you're not allowed to drive without it, right? You, you didn't know that? Okay.
44 headquarters, what they take. Okay. He is doing cosmetics from there. Okay. I mean, I had some on first. Okay. Where'd you get them from? Some of them I got at Rite Aid, some of them I got at Walmart, 162. But not, none here? No. You didn't buy anything here? I was going to. What are you looking for? Okay. Well, first of all, you got your cigarette in backwards, so don't, don't be smoking at all, because I don't smoke. Take the cigarette out of your mouth. And you can't find your ID or anything. Cottrell denied stealing, but admitted to being in the store. The officer had him exit the vehicle and immediately noticed something that put the suspects in much more trouble. But if you can watch the driver, I'm gonna get the passenger out. Right. What's this right here? Did it come from there? This didn't come from there either? Where'd those come from? The stuff that they said you took from there, a flashlight and stuff like that, do you have any of that stuff on you? It, it is what it is. Did you steal stuff from there? I, I mean, we're going to go back over and we'll watch the video. I'm going to charge you with obstructing and all this other stuff because you're just delayed, delay, delaying the end. I mean, did you steal anything? Yes or no? Okay, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Take, take this stuff off. Uh, take this stuff off. Take this stuff off. You're under arrest for your warrant anyhow. And then I'm gonna charge you with a whole bunch of other just for you delaying all this stuff. Come on out. Yeah, I ain't got time. I ain't got time for this stuff. You have anything or anything on you? No. You have anything else illegal on you? Can you what? I mean, for the love of God, I mean, this is just ridiculous. We're playing in games like we're two years old. I'm not playing any games either. You're charged with obstructing official business right now. You're warned. Theft. Yep. 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 I don't know how that's obstructing. <sighs> anything in your shoes or anything that's going to get you in trouble in the jail? No, let's go. I want my phone. Let's I go. My out let's go. You're not getting your phone. Why can't I have my phone? Because I just said. Get the supervisor, please. That is not how it works. You're in Alliance. You're not in Canton. Have a seat in there. Why can't I have my phone? Because I just said that. Anything. Have a seat. I'm not calling you anything. Like, I just wanted my phone. Well, you don't get your phone. Well, I'll get into evidence. Further search of the car revealed much more. How do you know her? Growing up. Driver's license? Yes, I do. Uh, driver does, yes. Did you look at her picture? 
see if that's her. No, I haven't had a chance yet. Though. Yeah, if you want, if you want to go, if you're able to do that. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, step out here. What about all this stuff? What's that? I don't know. I don't know what was that. Well, this is some of it, like it's my old stuff, but that's not. I don't know. Is this your stuff? No, like this is me and my boyfriend traded vans. So. Is is any of this stuff yours? No. Okay. Cottrell was arrested on the warrant, and the search revealed $312.88 worth of stolen goods from various departments, including sporting goods, cosmetics, apparel, and health and beauty. The officer then questioned Cassie and found out that she had a history as well. Is there anything illegal in the vehicle? No, sir. You don't mind if I check? Oh, no, I don't care. Okay, good. Yeah, just, just step right okay, here. Okay, What was your first name? Cassie. Cassie. You ever been arrested before, Cassie, for anything? Yeah. For what? Um, a few times, like, back a long time ago, I had ingested a controlled substance, long time ago. What was the substance? Yeah, a long time ago. Um, I, um, don't do anything anymore. Well, that's good. Isn't it? Yeah, I think I used to drink a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing wrong with drinking, you just... Like, um, I find it hard to believe you don't use meth anymore and you still got all these markers. <laughs> I write with my kids and stuff. I got you. Are these nails yours? No, I, which one is these? I have a little bit. These look like yeah, they've been. I was going to say, they look like they've been in here for a while. Yeah, those are mine. That's mine. I've had that for a while. Okay. And how do you know this like this lady? Just from growing up. Just from growing up. Is she a professional thief? I have no idea, honestly. I didn't know that. I, I did not know that. Yeah, so That's been, my old bands. You ever been charged with a theft before? Yeah. Okay. How, I, how recently? Uh, well, yeah. Okay, but you were charged, and you were you were charged with trespassing too. Well, I'm just saying you were charged with it, so she's already been charged but for Tusk Walmart and trespassing, so but she's I probably not allowed to. I promise. You're right. I promise. Yeah, I'll call Matt. Step forward. Okay. I really promise. <laughs> 44 acres. She said she was inside, uh, but she said she purchased stuff. Now, she's been arrested at the Tusk Walmart and charged with trespassing. You guys want her trespassed or uh, re rested for trespassing? I got I got the passenger. Okay. Who has one person did not see the other female. But if she swapped her just items, then yeah, we can get her for trespass. Okay, let 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 me ask her. What did you What did you buy? I was buying food, sir. Where's your food at? It's there because I left my food part at home by accident. Okay. She it, says she was buying food, but she left it there because her food. Uh, yeah, you're tr you're trespassed. You're not allowed at Walmart. I know. You want her charged? Yes. Last act of two days ago. Okay. And the other female, there should be a bra, the flashlights, and cosmetics. I got a ton. I got a ton of cosmetics. Uh, I got a bunch of rings. Yeah. Maybe some, maybe earrings too. I don't know what all she's got in here. Uh, flat, flat. Looks like the it. looks like the flashlight is a Nebo. Yeah. And then yeah, a bra. Oh, holy cow! Oh no, I got a I got a small flashlight, a hurt. But I got a big one. Yeah, I got a big one, Nebo, too. Yep, that's ours. Yeah. Okie dokie. Well, I'll take them down. I'll book her processor and I'll bring all the stuff I got back. Can you give me an itemized uh, thing of what you got so far? 
I can only give you what I had seen. Okay. Um, I'm working on trying to find some cosmetic stuff. But she only goes down the aisles where she knows there's nobody or no cameras. Gotcha. She has a warrant too for theft. I don't know. Okay. Alrighty. That was good timing. Yeah, because they were just going out. I was out on 62. Both the suspects were transported to the county jail to be processed. Sure, go for Jay's bounty Because you're under arrest for trespass. Oh, really? Yeah. Really, please don't do this to me. Yep. Don't you resist. Just, just put your hands well, behind your back. You're going, you're going to get booked released. You're okay. going to get released. You're not going to county. No, no cigarettes. No. Everybody's so worried about cigarettes and not about life. Oh, wait, they're going to Who is? Cigarettes are I'm going to save your life today. I'm not going to let you smoke. Okay. okay? Cottrell was booked into the Alliance Jail and later transferred to SCJ for his Canton warrant. He faced theft charges. If you thought this was bizarre, wait till you see the next case of famous YouTuber Nikita Dragon, whose arrogant and crazy behavior at a luxury hotel earned her a trip straight to jail. Take my bag from my hands. Take the bag from my hands. Don't do that. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh. Please get up. You challenge my we sick in the late hours of November 2022, Miami Day Police Department officers received a call about a security threat at a luxury hotel in Miami. Upon arrival, officers were notified that the suspect was the well known YouTuber Nikita Dragon. They talked to the security officer and found out what had gone on. Yeah, she's upstairs. She, they telling me I'm going to call the general manager, but they telling me she's VIP. But when you back up to the pool area, you can go to your room from that way. Okay. I'll go upstairs. She prolongs upstairs by the pool deck area. Oh, let's take pictures. This guy. Yo, lady, it's fucking raining. Oh, all right. Hurry up. Take these pictures because I see you don't want to go. She throw her everywhere. And now she don't want to go. So I take this fucking deal for her. Now we leave and I finally get her into Strawberry Moon. She's walking through Strawberry Moon. She tripping now. Asking, hey, you this? Hi. Stopping at the bar. Man, you are not dressed to be here. I need you to go to your room. Oh, no. Talk to me like that. Is that the thirst you go? This should take some water from the deli. Axes and pour the water on me. All type of shit. I don't come for that, dog. And I don't give a fuck who your friend. I don't care how much money they got. Y'all not gonna be disrespecting me, dog. Over here, dog. That's all. We're here you now. Don't do that to me where I come from, dog. I understand. Well, I'm here now, and I'm gonna try to help you out as best as I can. Okay. What is it that you guys ultimately would like? You want her to get evicted? Uh, you guys want her out of here? I'm gonna call a general manager right now since I've been sad. I, right now, at the point, I just wanted somebody here, and we don't need to have female security here. She about to leave. She had to come back. 
I have nobody to deal with this girl. Want me to talk to her? See if somebody she... can talk to her. See if she want to get into a room. She don't know what they don't know what room she in. Okay. I mean, I've been here all day. I understand. How she gonna pour one on me? Yeah. Listen to a little more and goes to her. You let me know, man. Talk. Something needs to happen. Right after talking to the security guard, the officers proceeded to apprehend Nikita, unaware that they were about to encounter one of the most deranged trans women ever. Are you decent? Miami Beach Police. Miami Beach Police, we need to talk to you. Open the door, please. Is everything okay? Uh, obviously not. We, we have to, they have to talk to you. I brought this from earlier. Oh, my gosh. And I understand you fell what earlier. Happened? Nothing happened. But what I, we just came here to speak to you about the, the, your incident from earlier. You don't speak to me. We want to let you know. Yes. As a collective. Are you sorry? I'm not sorry for anything. Oh. For you threw water on me, man. All right. Is this cool? Come on, we'll go back and forth. Well, what would you guys like us to do? The next complaint I get about yeah. her, do you guys want her out? The person. Things became even crazier as the entitled woman decided to do something incredibly stupid. Did I get, not put you out? Do you want if more? You get one more complaint. Don't do that. You're gonna get. You're gonna go to jail if you do if that. You get it. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oops. Come on. Oh, oh no. There's no need for that. Oh. There is no need to act the way you're acting right now. What's the way I'm acting? Okay. At the end of the day. Let go of this. Let go of this. Please. Let go of this. Say please. Say please. You're gonna escalate this. No, I'm not. Let's go. For absolute no reason. Where's escalating? Listen to me. Yes. We're giving you a lawful order. Okay. You are under arrest. Okay. Great. We're asking you to let go of that. I'm not going to. Okay. I'm not going to. Take it from me. Okay. You understand that you're under arrest? Yeah, that's fine. Take it from me. Take my bag from my hand. Take the bag from my hand. Don't do that. I'm not. Okay, then don't take do it. that. Okay. There's no need for that. Don't do that. You do not have to do that. What are you doing? Can you please let go of the bag? What are you doing? I got you. How much longer would I do this shit? I'm only responding to the kids and the girls. What? Please let go of your bag. No. Don't make me ask somebody to smite your ass. But please don't do that. Quítate. Silencio. Leon. Silencio. 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 Oh. Oh no. Oh. Please get up. No. Oh my god. I fell. I think I'm gonna have to be carried. Please get up. Oh. Oh my god. I fell. From the fuck. And a female unit as well. Right back now. The suspect was quickly handcuffed and taken into custody, but she showed little to no remorse for her actions. Thank you guys for at least letting me get ready for my mugshot. Okay, I'm gonna stop resisting, but let me just. Okay. <sighs> Does someone have my hat? I put it back in your room. Oh, it's okay. You guys know? Come on, cool, let's go. Stop doing that. Okay. 
Even in custody, her antics continued. No, you're gonna go touch your head. Oh. 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 Okay. Hi. I'll be sure. Don't be mad what you see that he got it. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Oh, 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 oh. Do you have a boyfriend, girlfriend? No. For you to date with the power you have. It's very difficult. Men are so fucking weak for that. I'm sure I'm in. I'm sure you're gonna have to fry a piece of that you could put on with a girl. Mm -hmm. That's funny though. Do you feel like you burn everything you touch though? No. Why would I feel like that? I don't know, just because you know this lifestyle and like, you work long hours and you know. Whatever you want. What's your name? The fuck is Supreme. What's your name? Nikita Dragon. Supreme, Serena, Princess, Virgin uh, Fire. Nikita Dragon. Like the Nikita Dragon? Yes, never. Great fire, my dragon. <laughs> That's why I like you. I like fire. I like fire. Okay. I'm not scared of the pain. But I won't unleash motherfucking pain. Lord, it's fire. Oh. Take me fucking higher. Ooh. So mean to a trans girl. I can't believe you, as a fucking woman, are not gonna validate my. You're womanhood. the one that started it. I'll You're challenging my too. womanhood. Let's go. You challenge my. We sit the fuck down. You want to challenge my womanhood? Baby, you gotta get up out of here. What's up? You How am I challenging your woman womanhood? Please tell me. You wanna fuck up? Come here. Come here now. Come here. Really? Oh, you're gonna hide behind. Oh, you wanna hide? Oh, you wanna hide behind there? Oh, you're gonna hide. That's, I got a fucking army at my disposal. Jakaris! I am unburned! Try it! Girl, this is not Game of Thrones. Oh, it's not. No, it's not. I'm Dragon faces charges of a police officer, as well as charges of disorderly conduct and in the next case, confusion over a fraudulent check at a bank led to an altercation and the subsequent arrest of a trans woman. My check is not fraudulent. I ain't touch him. I did not hit him. You guys watch me every okay, me, day. That's what, no, I'm saying. I don't, the I don't world watch me every day. On June the 27th, 2022, Chambly police officers responded to a call at Truist Bank in Atlanta, Georgia. The report indicated that a trans woman attempted to cash a fraudulent check and allegedly a bank employee during the process. When the officers arrived at the scene, they were surprised to find the lady in a combative mood for someone who had committed a crime by trying to cash a fraudulent check. No, it was not. I ain't touched that man. I did not touch that man. Hi, how are you? 
What, what's going on? He's he talking, he talking about I touched him, talking about my check is fraudulent and all that stuff like that. My check is not fraudulent. I ain't touch him. Hold on, don't Come on, mama, let's go. No, 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 no. Stay, stay right here now. All right. Tell me what tell me what happened. Hi, I'm the, my name is Sarah. I'm the branch manager here. Okay. Um, basically what happened, the check we confirmed it's not a good check. Okay. We had to retain the check. She came in. How, yelling, how is the check a bad stop, check? Stop, stop, she stop. She came in yelling and screaming. My uh, FSS, your financial service specialist, tried to de-escalate the situation and let her know what's happening. She grabbed him. I did not. I did we not have, grab him. We, we have it on video camera and everything. Mm -hmm. I did not grab him, sir. I did we not. We have it video footage. All right, well, right now you're being detained. Turn around, to put your hands behind your back. She adamantly denied any wrongdoing, asserted that she had not the bank employee and was simply trying to leave when intercepted by the officer. However, the branch manager's account differed, claiming that the woman raised her voice, caused the scene, and an employee by grabbing his tie and striking him. To uncover the truth, the officer detains the woman for further investigation. Just a bunch of lies. Like, no, it's okay. I'm gonna investigate it, but for, a bunch of but for right now. Like that, like I'm, I'm really like for real. I'm gonna investigate, and if but right now you are being detained. Three I think I've got one detained. Hold on, let me let me see that. This I need to see. I'll need to, I'll need the ID also. <laughs> Ma'am, can I see the ID? Okay, Ms. Brent. Is it, is it Ms. Brent, your, Brent is your last name. Okay. Like, for real though, like, really? Um, yeah, when someone makes an allegation that there's been a, in a bad check to cash, I'm going to investigate How it. How is it a bad right check? Now, like, I, right work, now to keep, I work for that. Right now, to keep everything from getting worse, you're being detained. I'll put you in the car. I'm gonna investigate thoroughly. I work for and, that. And once I and once I find out, and if I find out that, that you haven't committed a crime, no. I'll, I, I'll release you from the handcuffs. You. I haven't released. But, I haven't. But for right now, you're being detained. The officer then questioned her mother, who explained what the issue might be. Yeah. Okay. What? What's first? First of all, tell me what happened. What happened? All I know, he was working at a place in South Carolina. So when he come home. I picked him up at the bus station. He come to cash the check. And he gonna do some work while he ain't gonna go back. When I got here, they were saying, he waited so long, they were saying that this check was a scam. Mm -hmm. So he went on the inside to see what was going on. And he told him that the check was a scam. And then he grabbed him, one of the workers. Who grabbed one of the workers? Whatever. It's, it's see, my son is born as a he, but I can't get, I'm confused with, he want to be a trans, trans man, you know how that is. Okay. So he, and what he got on here, Bria grabbed the one, that guy, the workers in there. Okay. And tried to make him get his check back, and he told him he can't release the check because it was fraud. Now, I'm trying to find out this company that he's supposed to be working for, and, and I'm gonna call and see what's going on. Okay. All right. So he's gonna be in the cab. Well, I got it. I, I still, I'm still gathering the facts. I'm, I'm gonna make sure I treat Bria. Can I talk to him? In, in a second, not right okay. now. I'm gonna make sure I treat, I'm, I'm gonna treat everybody fair on this. I know that. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look at the cameras. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna just listen to one person over the other. But based on what it was told to me, that's why Bria's detained right now. The officers questioned the employees and received the video footage to uncover the truth. It didn't take long for the cops to begin realizing how crazy the supposed woman was. What you need me for? Did anybody I, I else witness this? I got too many car key cases um, at the moment. It was just us in here, like, I don't want to it took place with. <laughs> okay. So, um, pretty much, <laughs> no, my manager just wanted to handle the transaction because I'm in training. Like um, that right when she let her know in the drive through that the checks were fraud, she was going to retain it because that's part of policy. Um, she in turn said that she was going to come in. That's why the car's parked like that. 
I was gonna come, I came here to lock this door. Mm -hmm. I was gonna go lock that up, she had already made it in. She okay. came in to exchange words with my manager, saying, you know, hey, give me my check, give me my check, just being irate. And then, you know, as I'm standing here, um, I was like, man, well, unfortunately, you know, my manager did her work on it, we can't get back a check. Um, that's when she in turn walks up on me and wants to, you know, grab my. Grabbed you by the tie? Yeah, she grabbed my tie, that's why I had to take it off. Okay. She, she held on to it for a while, so. She grabbed it, but I had to, I had to let her know, please let, let him go. I had to, like, de escalate. Okay. This situation is. Okay, let me, uh, y'all said y'all have it on video? He has some video. Yeah, um, he has, I sent it to her. I mean, uh, they dropped in the three videos. Okay. Okay. You got the video? Yes. That, that's some of those because I was going to notice I don't know if I want to take it. photos of you. So, um, yeah, she, 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 she grabs him. Um, just fill him out. I'm about to wait for her. She, um... What's that? <laughs> she grabbed him by the tie okay. and then kept trying to swing on him. Okay, so got simple battery. Um, the fraudulent check should... That's it? Uh... Or this the that's the um, we have a copy of it. That's the part top part of the check. Yeah. Can you get it? Get we us get the copy. Did we charge charge uh, forgery on that one? Yeah. Forgery third degree, right? Because it's over fifteen hundred. Yes. Is this her name? The license says Brent, but ain't changing. Gotcha. Yeah. This is the original. We just hope we hold on to it, but this. Okay. Yeah, can you just make us a copy of that? Make a copy of that. Thank you. How did y'all determine it was from? Um, put the things in the system that we looked at that did um, there's other checks that's not getting cashed and the name doesn't match the system. It's like ADP, but just has different information on it. Gotcha. The video footage confirmed the allegations against the suspect, but the officer decided to investigate things further on what led to the confusion. Alright, so you go by Bria, not Brett, right? Correct. Okay. Everybody knows me. When you type my social security number in the system, it pop it pops up real. Everybody knows me. Okay. All right. This is what's happening. All right. We have it on video that you grabbed him by the tie and tried to swing on him. I did not swing him. I did not swing. Okay. Him. Either way, you grabbed him by the tie. All right. I didn't try to swing. That's that simple battery. All right. You. Um, you attempted a cash a fraudulent check that, that was Sir, in I excess did. of fifteen hundred dollars. That's four trains. Sir, third train. so, I work for that. Okay, it's 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 a confirmed fraudulent check. I work for that. Right, I'm just letting you know what's going on. Can you let my mom speak with me? Like you can't let them do this to me. Like I work for that. Mom, are you going to come and get me? Like what is? Why did they let them do this to me? No, I, I have. Brent, I told you to turn that man loose. Can you can they please help me? Like I didn't this thing on fraudulent and stuff and I work for that. We're not, check, charged, we're not charging have, her with that yet. I have a job. The only thing I we're charging her that. right now is the simple battery on the employee. Simple battery on the employee. I didn't hit him. That's a misdemeanor. I did not hit him. You grabbed his tie, Brent. You greased at him, but we were holding you. They had it on camera now, baby. <laughs> Mama, please don't let them do this to me. Like, what do I need to do? Ain't nothing I can do, baby. I just have to come over there and see. Are you gonna come and get me? In fact, he says in the cab. Yeah, go to the cab county once. Uh, once the booking process is completed, the judge will set a bond, and um, you'll be able to get you'll be able to get her from there. My check is not fraudulent. Can y'all just give her the money? Like, my check is not fraudulent. That's not what we're charging you with right now. I told you our detective's going to investigate that further, just see what the what the mix-up was with that. It might even just be something to do with your name, since you're... Since you're they don't have anything to do with it. I've never had this problem before. Everybody knows me. Okay, Everybody hold on, knows hold on. Me. license says Brent. Everybody knows I go by I don't Brent. know you. You do know me. I, I Everybody know, know me. Y'all know my whole family. I don't know anything about you. I've never met you oh before. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, so that's what's happening with this. Uh, we're, we're still investigating that for, that further. Just just see what the, that issue with what that is. Um, so I'm not going to... There's not oh, much where I is it? Where is the uh, jailhouse located? It's uh, the Cab County Jail. Um, I'm going to borrow your time. Yes. Like, this don't make any sense. Like, you got a call or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They just should have just cashed the check and gave me my money. I'm not fraudulent. The woman's driver's license still bore her previous name, potentially contributing to the confusion over the check. 
The officer advised her to update her identification to avoid future issues. The situation appeared to be resolved, but it soon took an unexpected turn when the individual began making unrelated and nonsensical statements. She attempted to mount a fruitless defense by claiming there was a mistake about her identity, but the cops saw right through it. If that's still your legal name, then, you know, you got to get that changed. You got to go through the process of that. But can, can you listen to what I'm saying? I've, I've cashed checks at BBT before with my name, okay. just like that. And she asked me, did I have a second form with my name okay. on it like well, that? Well, for some reason, it didn't work this time. But either way, for, I mean, just for any type of purposes, if, if you want your name to be Bria, you got to legally change it, you know? Because if, if that doesn't match up with your social security number it and your does. driver's license. It's everything, like if you run my social, all that shows up on my social. That's Bria? Bria shows up on my social. Okay, well then the next thing you got to do is change your license. Like uh, if you run my, like all my name, the Bria, Brent, and all that shows, okay. up, shows well, up on my social. Legal, I mean, you got to make sure your legal name is the name, is going to be the name that you're going to be using. Because that's what, that's what they're going to go by. And you gotta it's get still not, but it's still not making sense because she just could have got another second form of ID, of, 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 like she got from me because she asked me that I have another people, form. People, she people had, make up fake IDs. People make up fake, fake checks to defraud them from things like that. That's why they go through these I steps. I don't. I don't not say, I'm, I'm not, not saying. I'm not saying that's what you're I doing. Work for my money. I'm not saying that's what you're doing, but that's what. That's why they have these steps in place, because people do do that. And you know if it doesn't work though, I don't. I don't have no reason to be fraud. Okay, at all. but I'm just saying, that's they have these steps in place, and that's what's causing you to hold. I don't. Might I, be don't what's I don't going. have no HIV. I don't have nothing. I don't have no HIV. No one said anything. Nobody said anything about that. I don't have anything. I don't have no AIDS, no HIV, none of that. Nobody said anything about that. And that's that's why they're taking me through all this because I got away because that was the initial plan. The initial plan was for them to keep injecting me with rat poison, and I was supposed to be gone. That was the initial plan, okay, and play it, play not, it like it was HIV. That was the initial plan, and that's not, that's not, it didn't happen like that. So they're mad at me because I got away. You guys watch me every day. You guys watch me every day. That's what, no, I'm saying, I don't, the I don't world watch. watch me every day. Okay. They know what I do. I don't they know, know what you, I go to work every I day. don't know what you do. They don't know what you do. You know people, everybody none knows of us, me. None of us. Everybody knows me. I'm, I don't know you. <laughs> Sir, I don't on. know you. I'm ne this is our first time meeting each other. Come on. Keep I don't it real. know. I don't know you. I'm you keeping it very keep real. It real with me. Come on. I'm keeping it very real. I don't everybody, know you. Everybody knows me around the world. I don't they know you. They watch me every day. Okay, I don't watch you. I'm, I'm, and I don't know you. This is the first time I'm meeting a, you. I have a whole TV show. Like okay. seriously. I've never watched it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I've Stop. never watched it. Stop. Stop. I've, I've never watched it. Right. Like, I've never seen you in any of the TV shows that I watch. Just, just, um, how do I get rid of the wife? Do I just need to get a lawsuit or something like? Because it's, it's all because I'm like, he's mad because I want to be with him, and because I won't say, because I won't say that I have AIDS or HIV, and I don't want to be with him. Like, okay. why would I? Well, and this is why he keeps harassing me. What do, what, do, what would you do? Who keeps harassing you? The wife. Who's that? Like the guy, this guy that wants me to be with him. He keeps harassing me because I don't want to be with him. What would you do? I, I don't know what, what you're talking about at this point. After all the drama, the real truth finally spilled out when a member of the staff was interrogated by the officers. So she explained to me on how they determine it was fraud. Yeah. So when they run the check through the system, right? If you are an employee, so like that one was ADP, Hyatt, whatever then it should have every employee's name. It, no name, that name, her real name, nothing came back. Um, she said, and the phone numbers that were attached for that, that check come back disconnected. Um, they tried to contact the actual company and nothing. So when they asked her, they was like, they actually tried to give her back the check. Right, it was like, look, we're not, normally we would just keep it, but they tried to give her back the check. But they said she was already on 10, ready to fight. So it was like, well, look, who do you work for? If you tell us that, then, you know, we can contact them. And she refused to give up who she worked for. She refused to give up any information. She was just like, no. Nah. And then that's when she attacked the work. Okay. So. You got enough of the forgery charge in there? Yeah. Okay. So let her explain that. 
I mean, because if they run it through this system and you your account don't come back right, then yeah. Okay. The numbers don't match. Maybe. Yeah. Showing disconnected. So. All right. I'm gonna scan the um, narratives in for you. Statements. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate it. That's Six dollars. <laughs> So forgery, third degree, um, and, and simple yeah. battery. Yeah. Okay. The bad news, I got some more information. So the way they determined the check was fraud is because they ran it through the system. The Hyatt does not have you employed under any name through that registry. They called the numbers listed on the on the check. All those numbers are disconnected. Uh, oh, sir, and, I work at a resort. And they called and they called the resort. They called everybody. You know, they got they got nothing from you. That is a lie. Okay, well that's something you have to that's something you have to show in court, but as of now you are being charged with forgery in the third degree. And how did I get a check like that? And I, how did I get a check like that? And I don't even I don't work in the just, accounting office of nothing. Okay, I'm just telling you what it is. You're being charged with forgery in the third degree and simple battery. Oh my god. Are you serious? I am. So they're gonna they're, they're yeah, really trying to say that, that I'm, the check is fraudulent? The check is fraudulent. It's been co confirmed it's fraudulent. I work for that check, sir. I work for that check. Okay. How is it fraudulent? Just telling you, I'm just telling you what it is. We're not gonna keep going in circles about it. Well, well, so what I gotta do now? Right. Same same process. It's gonna go through. It's gonna go through the. You're gonna go through the booking process once the, once the judge decides what the bond is. You'll be you'll be able to bond out. The suspect was charged with forgery in the third degree and simple battery. In the next case, a crossdresser tried to evade police after a fight and faced the consequences. Watch out! Watch out! Roll over! Roll over! Yeah, this is a violation of my rights too. An Akron police officer responded to a distress call regarding a fight and spotted a man matching the suspect's description. A white male in a reddish women's dress and white pants at S Main Street and E Market Street. The officer ordered the suspect, Michael Uesevich, to stop, but he ignored them and took a rather foolish step. The officer immediately exited the vehicle and chased the suspect down. Yes, you're going to jail, Your Honor. Yes, sir. You're going to jail for sure. All of you. That's my dick, sir. Yep. You want to see it? Oh, there it is. Oh, but I don't have a dick. So, yes, you're all arrested for the same reason. Y'all just say them. 2, 4, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, 15, Your Honor. Yes, in the, in the sheriff, too. 15 of them, yes, Your Honor. 15 of them, too. Caleb Wolf will be arrested. Oh, you don't know Caleb Wolf? Oh, good. Yeah, that comes from. It's my dog. Oh, you're, 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 oh, you're,
Hudson. Oh, yes, sir. Because I am wearing a women's dress and you're all going to prison. Oh, it looks like it. Federal prison. For what she just did to me. The wolves. Six months ago. That's how you get out. Cast me, cast me, rest in peace. They all be arrested for rest in peace. Rest in peace. Oh, Collins. Don't even try. Oh, but Collins is. What's name? I'll be getting the indictment. The incident started from an argument Michael had with a man named Timothy at the library. Timothy stated that Michael threw orange juice on him and then fled. The officers proceeded to question Michael, but he proved to be very difficult to talk to. Hey, Michael. Hey, I'm Sergeant Nall. What's up here now? Well, I'm going to talk to you about what, uh, what uh, happened. Oh, yeah, I'd love to hear it. Okay. Talk well, about it. Well, I was going to ask you. Uh, I'm here about the, uh, the use of force that the officers had. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm not going to ask me anything about any criminal charges. All right, just about the use of force. Okay. Uh, tasing or the... Uh, the what? Tasing or the 15 cops they took? Well, I would say... Did, did you, you get the cuffs off me or no? Why do you want the cuffs off? Because I can go. I can leave now, right? No. no okay, then, yeah, keep talking about it. Okay. Um, so, what you're Deadly under... Deadly use of force would have been worse, but this is okay. It felt good, actually. All right. When I do it on you, revolver for the same reason. All right, listen. Um, Standing my ground, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, I want to talk to you about... Why, no, don't talk about with those. You can't take those without doing the thing you did, but you know you don't want to. All right, so originally... Uh, I had I had something that you took from me, and you, I would want it back. Yes, I do. All right, so you encountered a person. Yes, and it, no, and no, I encountered the police, and no. I told them that I didn't want to encounter me, but they did anyway. All right, hold on a sec here. So no, you, no, that's, the, that's, that's no, no, hold on. I'm not holding on. I'm in cuffs. I'm going to hold on for a sec. All right, so you encountered right, a person... So, yeah. You encountered no, the person who, who no, refused no to charges. give you a cigarette. No, 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 that's not what happened. The police used force on me. Yes. Someone called the cops and lied on me. All right, so I'm going to talk about that. Okay, then do it. All right, so you encountered the person who refused to give you a cigarette. No. You got upset. No. And you no. saw a police officer. <laughs> when you saw the officer, did you comply with his orders? He didn't give me orders. He said to get out of the street? No, he didn't say that at all. He went in the street. Okay, so when you... crossed the street and he fucking crossed me. So when he, uh, when he encountered you... What, what's the first thing you've done? I tried to walk away. All right, so did you throw yourself on the hood of the car? Um, I think you hit me, actually, but if you, 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 if you can tell the difference, let me know. Well, I, I saw the camera. Threw it on my back? Look, I saw the camera. It looks okay. like you threw yourself on the hood okay, of the car. Okay, that's what I did. Okay. Uh, Is that illegal? Because you, you sure driving at me. But, but it's you sure driving at me. It's disobeying a, a police no, officer. No, he didn't give me orders. He just he ran his car into me. Okay, um, so with that... And then the, uh, so did you know he was a police officer? He didn't look like a real one. Okay, what's a real one look like? What's your, what's your badge? You, you got a gold badge, they yeah. usually have silver ones. I guess you're not a real one either. Okay. Uh, like you take the, the, uh, the real glasses off and put your real ones on so you're not reading something. Yeah, so. You're looking at me through a lens. Would you say it's a blue light lens or a... Anyway, so yes. the... Uh, anyway. So you, the police officer... I'm not talking to fake cops anymore now. Okay. The man continued to act in an unhinged way. Next time you encounter a police officer, just listen to what he has to commands, say. Listen to his commands, yes. Okay. If they're not real cops, I'm not listen to them. I'll stand on my ground in the face six times with a revolver. All right, well, you don't want to well, threaten anybody. That's just, that's just Texas law. All right. Ohio has the same ones. Stand your ground. All right. Rights to liberty. Pursuit of happiness. Rights. Right. You're good. Rights. All right. Yes, my rights to liberty. Right. Pursuit of happiness. I would like to tell you again. All right, I'm going to close the door. Yes, yes, maybe you will. It's rights, pursuit of happiness, and liberties. Me and okay. him both have? Well, I'm just going to say this. Next, oh, I like next time you encounter a police do. officer, just okay, do what wait, they what's say. What's your name? Sergeant Nall. No, no Sergeant. Yep. Okay, yep. You're a sergeant. Well, I have my rights from the sergeant, right? You, As your advice from the sergeant, I will be talking to the fire sergeant then. Okay. That's good uh, advice. I just want you to listen to an officer's orders. We're losing orders, the sergeant. Okay. okay. All righty. Officer's orders or a real police officer? Any police officer. Okay, I'll have a peace officer then. Same thing. Okay, good, but they're not. They are. They are. For second serve then. Okay. Okay, yes, we know the words. All right. Good. Close the door and take me to jail. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a violation of my rights too.
get rid of the f I want. Now she got me in the back of the police car. Can't you say? Stop what? Stop. Stop arresting people for their rights then. And the structure property, that's going too. While being transported to the Summit County Jail by APD, Michael kicked and damaged the police car from the inside. Michael Yosevich was charged with disorderly conduct, obstructing official business, resisting arrest, and vandalizing police equipment. But this incident is nothing compared to what happens in the next case, where an insane cross-dressing man started committing obscene acts in public and disrupted traffic until he was apprehended by the police. You're being a dick. People Pull are tired of this. Down. Look, ain't saying nothing. Look, can't see. Look, can't see. I got glass in my foot. Are you get refusing a lawful order to yes, move? Yes, I got glass All right, in my foot. You're under arrest for resisting. On the 1st of June 2023, police officers were dispatched in reference to a reported suspicious person committing obscene acts and disrupting traffic. Little did they know, it was only the beginning of an unusual situation. You're under arrest. For what? You're under arrest for misconduct. No, I'm not. Put my dress on. Right here. Put your dress on. Right now. I'm not. Let me talk supervisor real quick. He is a supervisor. Oh, no, he is. No, I'm a supervisor. What am I arrested for? You're you don't arrest, arrest for You are under arrest for disorderly conduct. No, you're just yep. kicking me. Nope, there's a complainant. No, you're just kicking me. No one's oh, kicking you. Okay, what do I do? What's your disorderly conduct? Disorderly conduct allegation is that you had your hands down around. And I'm trying to get my car out of scratch. Put your, Jason, put your, put, Jason put your you have this opportunity up. and this opportunity only to put that on. Yep. I'm putting it on. You know I mess with you guys. Put your gloves on. You don't have to do nothing. You know I don't do nothing. I'm not being coming. Uh, we have to. It's policy. It's only conduct just to take it. Yeah. You know I'm not being coming. Uh, One, five, check. Yep, stand up. The deranged man kept defending his actions, thinking he had done nothing wrong. Unfortunately, he was completely wrong. No, no. Okay, I'll stand up now. I'll stand up up to you. Don't. I will. I'm not gonna stand up on the slot. Don't be. You got L. Stop. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. I will. Hey, I'm getting up. Dude, I'm already, I'm disabled. Fuck, I got a bad heart. Well, don't be a Calm bitch. down, we're not. You're being a dick. People Pull are my tired of this. Down. Aaron, there's no reason for this, Aaron. You know it. Dude, get it off my, get it off my ankle or my wrist. Stop. Put two sets of cuffs on. You, you're, oh, pull down my dress. Come on. Dude, look, ain't saying nothing. Look, can't see. Look, can't see. Can't put your hands in your pants and play. Did put my hands in my okay. pants. Okay. Ain't nothing to say. Come on, take your time. 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 Take your time slowly walking down the steps. I got to just walk. Can't breathe right now. Start walking, Jason. Start walking. Come on, let's go. Don't play games, man. Don't act like you're gonna fall on the steps. Don't even do it. Go. Going to Walk. Let me catch my breath. Walk. No. Jason. No. You're gonna get a resisting charge. No, I'm not. Okay. Yeah. Give yes, me you a are. Minute. I'm Give me a minute. Okay. You're yelling. One minute. I'm giving you one more lawful order, and you're gonna be under arrest for resisting. Are you refusing to walk on the steps? No, I'm not. Then resisting. walk. And walk. By this point, he had tried every trick in the book to make himself the victim. He would soon realize that this would not work. Going. Keep going. I got glass in my foot. No, I got glass in my foot. Are you Get refusing a lawful order? Yes, to move. I got glass right, in my foot. All right, you're under arrest for resisting. Get glass out of my foot. How is there glass in your There's foot? There's glass. Just pull it out. There's Just no wipe it off. There's no glass. No, don't. All right, there you go. Now you kick me. No, I did it. Come on, go. Ow! I did not kick you. Yes, you did. I got glass in my foot. I'm trying to wipe it off. Wipe it the grass real quick. Move it. There you go. All right. Keep moving. Yeah, I wiped it off. Ugh. What an asshole. It's still on. It's still on. You don't need to pull it. 
I'm fine. Dude, come on, man. I ain't got nothing. You being weirdo. Uh, you, you take them off the ride? Right? No. Okay. Let me get in. It's all right. Oh, Damn, that hurt. Put it up on my shoulder. Get it up. There we go. There we go. In the end, the man was charged with one count of reckless conduct, two counts of disorderly conduct, the day after he pled guilty for damage to government property. Moving on to the next case where a drunk woman caught driving on the wrong side of the road tried every victim card in the book to avoid arrest. Perry? Am I... Well, I'm non-binary, so... But I just want you to know that I also have very bad social anxiety. You and me both. You're being Come a here. white man and... Come Don't! I followed all of your like, as an indigenous person like you guys. On the 18th of June 2023, a police officer pulled over a driver for driving on the wrong side of the road. When the officer spoke to the driver, she was clearly intoxicated. This was just the start of a chaotic situation. What's going on? Nothing. Why are you driving in the wrong way of traffic? No, I just got changed around. I just moved here like two months ago. Okay. I just got changed around. Okay. Do you understand what's going on though? Yes. You're going into oncoming traffic. I know, and I just decided that it was better just to turn around really fucking quick. So, okay. But I'm sorry. Do you live here or are you just trying to... I just moved here. No, but do you live here in like this apartment complex? Oh, no. Okay. I didn't, but... So you were just like, hey, I'm gonna, exactly. I'm gonna turn around by like, coming in here. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, this is your car? Yes. I'll look at your insurance well, too. Well, not my car, but it's my mom's. Because my car got kind of up. I'm so sorry. What happened to your car? It's with my dad, like... It's... No, but you said it got messed up? Yeah, like, it has a bad oil change and stuff, so... Okay. Is it insured? Yeah, yes, it Okay. Is. Can I just have you step out? We'll go look it up on my computer and I'll get you out of here. Okay. The driver decided to make things even more complicated by coming up with numerous excuses to avoid being arrested, gender included. I, I just have, like, really bad social anxiety and stuff. I get you. So, just a heads up, I don't want to be out here any longer than you do. We walk back to my car, I look it up on the computer, and I get you out of here. Okay. Okay? Go ahead and step out for Wait, me. what are you looking for? Your insurance, your registration, I'm going to check your driver's license status, I'm going to do all that. Just go ahead and step out for me, ma'am. Okay, but... Do you have any weapons on you or anything I need to know about? No, but that's the thing. It's like, I don't want to step out whenever you're asking for stuff. Okay, well, we're past that. Just go ahead and step out. I'll walk you back to my patrol car, and then I'll talk to you back there. Just like as an indigenous person, and... right back here, please, Miss Perry. Am I? Well, I'm non-binary, so. Okay, what do you go by? It's Kai. How can I refer to you tonight, Kai? Kai? Okay. Hey, I'm smelling alcohol. I know. How much have you consumed tonight? Like probably three drinks. Three drinks. Okay. Judging by driving wrong way on that street? I know. That's the other thing that Well, I hang on. About. Don't cut me off. Judging by how you're driving, the smell, I need to run you through some tests right now. Okay? That's why I have you out of the car. Once well, that's I the thing that I asked about before. I said, okay, so you're just giving me for my registration. And mm -hmm. you said yes. Yep. And now you're running me for other stuff. Yeah. I'm going to run you through some tests to make sure you're safe to drive. Okay? Okay. So I'm gonna turn off these blinking lights, that way they're not affecting your eyes as I go through your, mm -hmm. your test tonight. Finally, she agreed to take the field sobriety test. Eventually, the officer would find out just how intoxicated the driver really was. You said you had three drinks? What kind of drinks would those be? Rum and a cider. Okay. 
Are we talking like a mixed drink? Are we talking a sh What are we talking about? Well, rum is going to be a mixed drink. Cider is just the cider. Okay, perfect. Stand facing me, please. But I just want you to know that I also have very bad social anxiety. You and me both. Okay. Okay. Stand with your feet together, toes touching, arms by your side, just like I am. Hands outside of your pockets, please. I'm going to have you take those glasses off. You can fold them up, put them in one of your pockets. Perfect. I'm going to be going back and forth with my finger. I don't want you to move your head throughout this test. I just want you to focus on the tip of my finger, only moving your eyes. You obviously have glasses, so there's no contacts in your eyes right now, correct? Any recent head trauma, traumatic brain injuries, anything I need to know about? Uh, mental, yes. <laughs> Any recent head trauma, though? You haven't hit your head in like the last month or so? You have? Okay. What did the doc say? That I had a little concussion. Okay. So concussions heal. Any long-lasting effects? Sure. I don't know. I'm asking you. I know. Is there anything that would prevent you from driving that no. car? Okay. Focus on my finger, please. I am. You're just like trying to intimidate me. I don't know how I'm trying to do that. This is the test. I need you to take your glasses off, okay? Focus on my finger. Focus on my finger, please. I am, but you're... This is just how the test goes. I know, but you're exaggerating it more than it needs to be right now. This is just the test, okay? I know. When you stop and look at me, I have to redo a certain portion of the test. Okay. So just focus on my finger. Well, as you know, as an indigenous person, and there's a bunch of going around, I'm sorry, but... It's just for me to be on my toes. I get you. Will you go back to that position I had you in? Standing with your feet together, arms by your side. Despite being tested for her wrongdoing, she still managed to divert attention to her pronouns and mental health. This was a huge mistake. Can you remember that I told you that I'm non-binary? Yeah, I'll try my hardest, okay? It's not something that I deal with every day, so I'll, I'll have the, uh, the mistake of the habit, right? Please. So I'll refer to you as Kai, right? Yes. Perfect. I want you to, to imagine about a four inch wide line, okay? That four inch wide line is just gonna go from your right foot completely straight to the back of your car. Mm -hmm. Can you picture that four inch wide line? Can you picture it? Just a straight four inch wide line. Yes. Perfect. Hang on. Do you want me to I'm gonna go over some instructions before you do anything, okay? I need to know if you have any injuries or anything that would prevent you from doing a standard walk or a turn tonight. Mental health. Um... Any physical injuries? Mentally, yeah. <laughs> but no. Nothing that would prevent you from just walking and turning. I saw you exit the vehicle, you walked over here just fine, no complaints of injuries. I know. I'm just saying. Okay. Mental PTSD, depression, anxiety. I get you. What else do you want? Well, unfortunately, I'm just asking about I know. physical. I know. Okay? I know you are. So, I want you to go ahead and put your left foot on that four inch wide line, just like I'm doing. Now, with your right foot, Place it in front of your left in a heel-to-toe touching manner with your arms by your side, just like this, ma'am. Can you not call me ma'am, please? I'm trying my hardest. Okay, Paul. Well, okay. It means a lot to me. I'm trying my hardest. I don't feel like a man, so. Okay. It's kind of triggering. Right foot in front of your left. Nope, go back. I'm gonna place you in a position. Right foot in front of your left, heel-to-toe touching, just like I'm doing. Right foot in front of your left. Heel-to-toe touching. Just like I am. I'm sorry, but the whole man thing just like... I apologize. Let's see if we can move Bye. forward from it. Arms by your side, heel to toe touching, just like I am. Hold on. I need you to get to this position, just like I am. Right foot in front of your left, heel to toe touching, arms by your side. Arms by your side. This is the starting position for no, the test. that's what I'm doing! You were in it. This is the starting position for the test. I don't want you to move or start the test until I tell you to do so. The driver continued to test the cop's patience with all her excuses. Unfortunately, she wouldn't be given any special treatment. Do you understand what I want you to do? Do you have any questions? No, I'm just really anxious. Okay, you have zero questions? No, but I just want to tell you that I suffer from really bad anxiety, especially... Uh, with generational trauma and PTSD around white people and cops, like, it's just, it's just like a whole new thing. Hang on, ma'am. I'm asking if you have any questions before I instruct you to start. 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch around. One, two. All right, I'm gonna bring you back to the first first position I had you in, right in front of me, facing me. Facing me. This next test, I'm gonna ask you to lift the leg of your choice off the ground. It's gonna be about six inches off the ground, it's gonna be parallel with the ground. You'll keep your arms by your side, you're gonna focus on the tip of your toe, counting in 1,000s. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Your foot and leg will be straight the entire time. Parallel with the ground, leg completely straight. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions? 1,001, 1,002. Hold on. Go back to the starting eight, position. Four. Go back to the starting five, position. Six. You didn't listen to what I said, did you? You didn't listen to what I said, man. I know. I said when I instruct. I'm moving to you. Well, I said when I instruct you I to know, start. I know, and right now I just feel harassed, so. Okay. I said when I instruct you okay. to start. Can you just count now? You're going to continue to count harassed. until I tell you to stop. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and begin. She was ultimately arrested for causing trouble, but the drama didn't stop there. Pick up where you left off, ma'am. I didn't instruct you to stop yet. You said until 1006. 1010. That's not what I said. Okay. All right, you go ahead and stop. I'm going to speak with you right over here, okay? No. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead and place your hands behind your back. Don't, dude. Don't make don't, it hard. Please. Don't make it hard. No, don't. you're... You're gonna get a resist, dude. I. You're gonna get a resist. I right? don't. Don't resist. Don't. Listen to me. Don't resist. Don't. You're being Come a here. white man, and Come don't. Here. I followed all of your shit. Like. Don't resist. No, you yeah, followed all of your shit. Don't resist. Don't resist. Hey, give us your hand. That's an indigenous person, like, fuck you guys. So you're going to be placed under arrest for driving under the influence tonight, ma'am. What do you have in your mouth? Nothing! Ew! What do you have in your mouth? Nothing! You guys are just scaring me! Lift your tongue? Lift your tongue for me? You guys are scaring me! There's nothing to be afraid of. Yes, there is! It's called generational trauma! Okay, walk on my, my vehicle. You fucking asshole! Have a seat. Have a seat. I mean, I will, but like, <laughs> can I just see you guys are being assholes about somebody who suffers from generational trauma, PTSD, and depression and tendencies? Yeah, can you go around? Do you want me to put an end for you so that you don't feel so fucking guilty? I have this guy for that. Fucking douchebag. The woman seemed to believe she was above getting arrested because of her status, and she was about to receive a harsh reality check. I see you're shaking too, because your anxiety is bad, just as mine. Test. Do I include people with mental health problems, or no? Do you now agree to be tested? I'm just asking if it also implies that people... Applies to anyone and everyone that's arrested for driving under the influence. So do you not agree to be tested? No, I'm just... It's a yes or no, ma'am. I'm asking for two breath samples. No. Can you five read five that question. for us? Three 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 the what? He said read back the last two paragraphs because I am severely depressed, so... So I'm requesting you submit to a breath test. If you choose, you can request an additional chemical test. That will be paid for by us, the law enforcement agency. I'll give you a reasonable opportunity to arrange for that to happen tonight. Um, if you refuse, <coughs> like I said, 
We cannot force you to take our test, but if you refuse, you will lose your New Mexico driver's license or non-resident operating privilege for one year. Okay, so if I get a lawyer, that does that also... So your right to speak to an attorney or remain silent does not apply to the requirement of the New Mexico law that you take a breath test. There you go. So do you agree to take our test? No, I want a lawyer. You're okay, well, where the f*** is that other white ass mother filling me up? I would like my wallet, please. Okay.